I'm recording now, so I'm here at uh, the World. In I'm here at the World Intellectual Property Organization with uh, Marianne Diamond, who's the president of the World Blind Union worldwide. And uh, Marianne, I was wondering if you could begin by introducing yourself and who you work for, and then why you're here in Geneva this week at the World Intellectual Property Organization, and how you think things are going. Okay, so I'm Marianne Diamond, and I'm the president of the World Blind Union the organization that represents the 285 million people in the world who are blind or have low vision. I come from Australia and I work for Vision Australia, a large organization providing services to blind people in Australia. Um, access to information is one of the biggest barriers for participating in the community for people who are blind and a big part of changing that is the work we're doing here at the World Intellectual Property Organization to uh, have a treaty adopted and this treaty would allow books produced in an alternate format such as braille, audio uh, and so on to in one country to be able to be sent to people who are blind in another country. How progress is going is slow. Uh, we've been coming here for a long time. It's been recognised since the 1980s that there was a need for an international instrument to support or assist people who are blind or have a print disability access information. And um, what remains to be done is agreement on the text and the type of instrument. I would like to see by the end of this meeting um, agreement on the text and on the instrument and then a recommendation to the General Assembly of WIPO to call a diplomatic conference to make this a law. Uh, I, I'm not sure we'll achieve it, but we certainly are working hard to do so. Thank you. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Uh, I can't think of anything just now. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, I can do another one later. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah absolutely.